And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hibernia is a March 2 victory. It's a small little tactical game, which I'm starting to think is maybe the uh, theme of Sandstorm. There's small little tactical uh, filler type games. This one here, you're trying to control Ireland, uh, but it's very abstracted. You're just putting cubes on a board and knocking other people's cubes. Let me show you and, and, and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. Here we go! Here's a board of the game and you see that there's four different player colors with different cubes representing armies, red, green, blue, and yellow. And these match the colors on the board, but really that doesn't mean anything and companies really shouldn't do things like that. If you were going to make the colors red, green, yellow, blue, then the things on the board should have been orange, pink, white, and purple, but whatever. Uh, in fact, you can see here some of the red has faded out of these, but it's not a big play issue. At the beginning of the game, players will each put our army in one of these four random starting zones that are around the board. And then some players start with their players here in this wheel here, which basically means they're dead. So if you go first, you are at a disadvantage. Players then take their turn. On your turn, you're going to be rolling this color die here. If you roll a color region, that's the region you're going to be attacking this turn. If you roll black, you can attack any region. And if you roll white, that helps you in the scoring phase. Now, don't worry. The dice lets you do one thing, but everybody each turn always has one free black automatic roll. So, for example, if I roll red, I have to attack a red region, but then I also may attack any region of my choice. Now, when you attack a region, let's say I'm green and I'm attacking a red region. Well, there's only one red region next to me. So I am coming from one region, so I'll put one into it. But then let's say that my next region I wanted to go after is yellow. I have two regions that are adjacent to it, and so I'll put two markers in there. And that's how you put pieces in, depending on how many markers. You can also, for example, decide to reinforce a region. So coming from yellow and green into red, I could add two there. In the middle, you notice this little X. That shows that those four corner regions are adjacent to each other. If you decide that you are going to move into a region with someone else, let's say yellow moves into here with one, then you kill anyone in that region on a one-to-one -one basis. If you kill everybody, well, then they all die. You can uh, always, for one of your dice, not attack anywhere on the board, but simply take back half of the people round it down that you have in the dead pile, which you'll have to do as people die fairly quickly during this game. Now, when... You have a piece, after you're done with your turn, you will then score. So, let's look at the scoring up here. Each player will have a, a piece on the scoring track, and you're trying to move around the scoring track. If, for example, I'm blue and it's my turn, I look at the board and I see, do I have any yellow regions? No. So I can't move my scoring piece, unless, of course, I roll a white, which allows me to move to one spot. But if I was green... Green is in a yellow spot, so he moves here. Green is in a green spot, so he moves here. Green's in a red spot, so he moves here. Green is not in a blue spot. And in fact, he'd need to be in two blue spots to move further. So you can look at where you currently are on the scoring track and try to control regions of that. The first person to lap the board and come back past the starting spot here is the winner of the game. So what do I think about Hibernia here? Well, it's kind of hard to, to quantify what I think. I, it's not a bad game. And you say, well, that's the Kiss of Doom because there's thousands of not a bad games. Yeah, this is like an area control game condensed into a very small little game. So I like it in that regard that it's small and quick and get over. And I like the scoring track. It reminds me of other games where you try to position yourself. I don't mind the taking out of other people and the rolling to die. I guess if I have any problem with the game, it's really, really, really abstract. I'm not feeling this try to take over Ireland at all. It's just a straight up area control armies and, and you feel like there should be more behind it. You feel sometimes like you're gaming a system, like you're capturing territories that you don't need simply to move farther in the scoring track. Uh, so the whole thing feels a bit forced. I, I can tell 
just that this is the kind of game that's going to appeal to some people. If you like those heavier Euro games with area control, you'll like this one because it feels like the same thing, but just in a, a much shorter period of time. But if you're looking for any kind of battles in Ireland or anything beyond that, then probably you should stay away. And that's where I'm going to lay down on it. Uh, for me, it's very average of a game. It's just like, eh, I, I enjoy it kind of, but there's nothing drawing me to play it again. But it's a good production and it might appeal to some people. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.